What are we doing today? We're making painting with bubbles. We are painting with bubbles. Yeah, and we're gonna make our own bubbles for this because we found, we tested off camera, and we found that it works better if you make your own bubbles than if you use the store-bought. But if you don't wanna make your own bubbles, the store-bought ones work too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Also, we made some other bubble paint. Yep, we made some off camera because we had to test it to make sure it worked. We yeah. tried doing another one just off the bat and it did not work. So we had to make a new, we had to try it off camera before we showed you guys because yeah. it just wasn't working. Yeah. All right. We found something that works though. So we're going to show you. Ready? Yeah. What do we need to use today? Paper. We have cardstock. A big cup. We have and cups. Dishner. So the solo size cups work great. Um, because you're literally blowing bubbles inside of the cup and you want to give it space to blow up. You don't get it all over the place. We have dish soap. We just used Dawn. We have pink here. Um, if you have the clear, it works a little better. It doesn't tint, but I haven't really noticed any tinting of our paint, so any color works as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so we've got our dish soap. What else do we need? Paint. Paint. What colors did you choose today? Orange, purple, and blue. Orange, purple, and blue. So we have already mixed up the purple and blue. We are going to mix the orange for you. And what's the last thing we need? Straw. Straws. Other things that help, we have um, pre-filled pre, um, a cup with water so that we're not running to the sink. But if you're not making a video, running to the sink is perfectly okay. Um, I got a spoon to mix and measure with because this works really, really well. Okay. All right, so here's our cup. We have our empty cup. What do we do first? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. What do we do first? Water. Water, okay. And we found that six spoonfuls of water gives you a good base. Um, it makes it nice and thick. And that way you have plenty, you can blow bubbles and you can go for hours with this. Um, I do recommend doing it outside because the bubbles kind of go everywhere, but it's raining. Mm -hmm. And it's windy, so we are definitely not doing it outside today. We're gonna do it right here, and luckily our tablecloth can just be wiped down, and we don't really care if it gets messy, right? Yeah. Okay. So anyway, here's our empty cup. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do six spoonfuls of water. We're just gonna scoop them out of here. Um, they said use tablespoons. I just anything you use. Um, just make sure it's equal parts of whatever. You could even just pour it in once you get the hang of it. I know that's seven, but my spoons weren't full spoons. Okay, we're gonna do six spoonfuls of soap. Do you want to squeeze or you want me to? I'll squeeze. Okay, give it a squeeze. Whoa! Don't go too crazy on me. I don't know what Hold on. To. One. I give it a squeeze. Don't go too crazy. Two. Give it a squeeze. One more. One more. Three, give it a squeeze. <laughs> Four, no, give it a squeeze. <laughs> Five, <laughs> one more. Obviously, this is not an exact science because we don't do exact science here. Okay, so we got six. Thank you. And we need paint. We need one spoonful of paint. Can you open it? Uh, did I say one? No, we're doing three, sorry. So it's two spoonfuls of water, two spoonfuls of dish soap, and one spoonful of paint. And then if you, it just depends on how big you make your batch from there. So since we did six spoons of water and six spoons of soap, we are going to do three spoons of paint just to make sure it's dark enough that we can see it on our paper, right? Sound good? But there's not enough on the bottom. Give it a stir. It'll mix up. And like I said, we already mixed some uh, purple and blue off camera. So we have purple and blue to play with, right? What? What did each not tell? Yeah, they're about the same height. That one looks like it got a little less in it, huh? Let's add a little more water. There you go. Close enough. You think we got mixed? 
Okay. So, straws. Um, we haven't had the bendy straws. Whatever size you want works. And I want you to blow the blue first. Or you want to blow red first. That's fine. Uh, no, me mean orange. Orange. Apparently, I don't know what color it is today. <laughs> Just testing you. All right, so we have paper here. We're going to lay it out so it's easier to grab, okay? And then instead of picking it up and blowing it like a bubble wand, um, we found that it's actually easier to blow it inside the cup and then kind of scoop it onto the page, um, and it makes some really cool bubble effects. So go ahead, get started. Do not drink this. It has acrylic paint in it. Um, you can do it with food coloring, but it doesn't turn out as vibrant. Ready? Let me scoop some. So he blew it all the way to the top, and then I'm just going to use the spoon and kind of scoop, or the straw and kind of scoop it off onto the page. And then he's going to go ahead and blow some more and let those pop naturally, right? And you see the oh. fact? He popped it with his hand. You can do that too. And it this is the fact. It looks pretty cool, huh? You want to try again? Blow some more bubbles? So it does pop a little bit. You end up with little splatters of paint everywhere, but honestly, guys, it is a fun activity. Um, I mean, who doesn't have fun playing with bubbles? There's a similar one that we'll do that you can actually make... Um, bubbles for outside. You can make colored bubbles like in a sock. Um, so we'll do that then too. Not today because we have to do that one outside. Right? You still going with the orange? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Did it get your nose? <laughs> hey! This one? No, this one. Oh, are we making this all orange? No. Don't you want to put some other colors on there too? Here, make some more. Yeah, stop wiping it on your pants. You want this one? Trade. Thanks. <laughs> yours right like there? Yes, yours right there? I'm just coloring all of them. You just gotta blow bubbles so that they work on all of them. So this craft is good for any age group. Obviously you're five and you're enjoying it, right? But little, little ones could do it with parental supervision. Older kids could have fun with it, right? But wait, what should they do if they want to see more videos? What should they do if they want to see more videos? Five and hit the like bell. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell. Um, that way you stay up to date on any new videos that we put out. Uh, if you'd like to send us a couple comments, uh, share any crafts that you're doing, uh, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram. We're at Happy Little Moments, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's getting it on his nose. Do you need a paper towel? No. Okay. And um, we're trying to come out with new content for you. Um, unfortunately, I've been a little busy making masks lately, but um, we are trying to make a bunch of videos to, to show you guys just something fun for us to do, something fun for us to share. I think you need to blow more bubbles. I think you popped them all uh, with the straw. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I usually don't do it at school. We're going to go ahead and speed this process up for you guys, um, and then we'll come back and show you the final results.
Guys, I have noticed that if you turn the cup sideways while you're blowing, it tends to just blow them straight out onto the paper, and then you're not trying to like scoop them out. Um, also, I would definitely recommend leaving them pop on their own because otherwise you get it all over your hand, and when you smash them, it just kind of colors it and you lose that bubble effect. Yeah.